everyone, I'm Sims Delicious, and today in Sims 4 we are building a graveyard. Obviously at this point in time you can't really build a graveyard at the Sims 4. There's really nothing to like, I guess, have a funeral or anything like that. Not really a way to say goodbye I would say, but I marked this as a national park and I did play test it. So there's a couple of things. Um, NPCs don't show up at national park it seems like, so I mean I don't know if some people are okay with that. I'm personally okay with that because I think I'm just gonna put my sims here. Um, I used to um, bring other graves that I would find around and place them at the graveyard as well but I figured you know what that's gonna take up too much space because I would need like a bigger lot to put them in so I decided I don't want that you know but right now we're making this little covered area um, oh and behind this area there's actually a whole picnic area with a grill and I placed a picnic area and a grill on this lot so I probably didn't place it in the best spot, but it's in New Crest. It's very simple. And also when I play tested this, I did place the spirit house from the for rent pack. And it's not functional when you get off the gallery. So the thing that's blocking it is the landscaping. So I placed this low line bush and it's just interfering with the actions, which I don't understand it to be honest, because like they don't need to get behind it. They just place incense or fruit, so I don't know, but if you want to use that, you're gonna have to like delete the landscaping that's under that. It's just like one that's blocking it, so it's like the one that's right under it. But yeah, I'm just figuring out some stuff, and I thought this was gonna be hard for me to be honest, because like, one, I don't build community lots, and this is the graveyard. Um, also, it's just like a lot of landscaping. It's not really building. It's not doing it in an interior, which I would prefer to do interiors instead of doing like the exterior. So yeah, it's just like a lot of landscaping and planning stuff out for the outside, which I feel like I'm not good at, which is why I don't really build parks. Like I built a park a couple of weeks ago and I will say it's not my favorite. I, I don't know. I don't think it's the best. I don't know. I think it could be better. It's just, it's not for me I guess like it's just again a park is just like mainly landscaping so I just don't know how to do it but um there has been some talk of like a funeral expansion pack which obviously we're getting like the love struck romance expansion pack soon but yeah I mean I would love a funeral pack um I just I don't know I would love it like imagine like what would that expansion pack be like i imagine having like a grim reaper career like i think that could be pretty cool i think i did a whole video like of my ideas of like a funeral pack so i guess i could leave that in the end card if you want to look at that but i mean could you imagine you could have like a grim career you could have a grave lot type so i mean that would be candy you could have like a funeral event and imagine if they give us an afterlife world like i think that could be pretty cool like i don't know if like a live sims could get to it but if they could like have a cool way to get to it so it's not like so easy i guess so it's kind of like a challenge almost i think that could be fun we could have more for elders i mean it is a funeral pack but i think that would be a good opportunity to like give us some more clothes for elders i guess and like more things for elders because like you know i mean i guess you know like death doesn't happen to only old people you can just die from eating the cow plant two times or the cow plant cake two times i should be specific but i did put the wishing well here and that was actually fun um i don't think i ever played with the wishing well only because i'm scared of like bad things happening to my sims because you can like like make an offering i guess and then you can wish for something like oh skills or you can like wish for a promotion and if it doesn't work out you could like get fired i think or i don't know like demote it or something which if that is bad i don't like that so yeah but also talking about a funeral pack could they possibly make the urns cuter and smaller because the urns we have now they're so ugly i hate it so much um it's honestly the worst 
I also put chess here. I just thought I would mention that. Um, but there's a lot of like moving things around and figuring out what's good. Um, I feel like maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I guess this area where the wishing well is could have been another space for graves. So I guess if you need a bigger graveyard, you could delete this area. Um, because where the wishing well is, I do also add chess tables for some reason. I don't know. I thought that was pretty good. And I added a lot of flowers from the romantic garden pack. Um, I don't know. I thought I would make it very cute and colorful so that's what i did and then on the covered area i put like um i guess a podium i don't know and then i put two benches i really did not know what to put on there i at first i was like maybe i'll just put easels but i was like that's so weird like that's so random why would you come here to a graveyard to paint i don't know so like i guess if you wanted to share a few words about the sim that has passed away you could um, but yeah, I was playing my Not So Berry challenge when I tested this out, and the founder, the Mint Generation, she died, as well as her, um, her wife a few days ago, so yeah. Um, that is so sad. Um, I just, it's really upsetting, death, and uh, when I open my Sims and Bloom save, the founder has, like, one more day left, and that is so sad to me, like, but if it's- but if I want to get to other generations, I'm just going to have to get over it, right? I'm going to have to eventually open that save and deal with it. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not really ready for that, I guess. But for the grave site, I do have an area dedicated kind of for like the founders. So it's like very small. I put fake graves. Um, um, yeah, they're fake graves from vampires, I believe. And I tried to like... I think there's this like dirt pile I guess not a dirt I don't know what it is actually it might be from vampires so I think it's like meant to be like dirt that is you know where the body is <laughs> um I tried to put that but I did not like how it looked I think I, I think it looked bad in my opinion um so I ended up putting terrain paint but I also don't think that looks good but it feels weird for it to just be clean gla grass I guess but I don't know um but yeah um anyways um i don't know what to say but like when i um brought my dead sims here i guess i i guess when i brought the graves here i ended up putting like some pictures and some things that reminded me of them so like Faye was the mint generation's name i think i put a sim ray from debug um in front of her grave as well as like a picture with her and her wife and then like a silly picture of her and her like scientist outfit um and then for her wife zoe zoe patel basically she was a programmer so i think i put like i mean there's really nothing to i guess symbolize programming i guess so i just put like the programming trophy from high school years i don't know i didn't know what else to put because like i don't i don't know okay and yeah but Oh, I get this pretty tree from Movie Hangout. It has like nice lanterns and I haven't used it before. Um, I will say I'm planning to make a whole build only using Movie Hangout because it's like such a weird crazy pack and I feel like I want to use all of the objects and yeah, I guess we'll see how that goes. Um, I feel like I tried this before. I did, but yeah, it didn't go well so I just ended up doing something else. But right now I'm just placing where all the graves are going and yeah, I mean, there's really not much else to the build, I guess. Um, except for me like trying to figure out which way I want the graves to go. Because either side, they're not like the same size. Um, the right side is actually bigger. Um, so yeah, I just, um, I guess I take a while just trying to like see where it goes. Um, yeah, but I don't know. Maybe sped up is not that long, I guess. But I think, um, do I add anything else? I did add, like, that bird feeder a long time ago. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It's not, like, anything else, really. It's just, like, a grave site. You know, you have a picnic area. You have a podium. You have the wishing well. You have... The spirit house oh i also put like the picnic baskets i guess i don't know why um i guess i just wanted to pretend because like you could just bake something i mean not bake something you could grill something and then just place it on the picnic table 
um yeah so my sims had a nice lunch there and they actually sat together which is kind of good um so they had like that picnic um moodlet or no it's a sentiment actually so it's a sentiment um but yeah and actually my not so berry sim i had her wish for skills with the wishing well and she got level two programming which she never had like the programming skill before which is nice so i had sunny do it the yellow generation so um yeah the granddaughter of the mint generation so i thought that was kind of fun and i wanted to imagine like zoe since she was into programming i thought like oh she did this she's the reason why we have like level two in programming now so i was like i thought this was her way of like helping us with money even though i will say like i think the um well, I say I think the yellow gen is making good money now, but she does live with her mother, the red gen, and she's obviously maxed her skill. So yeah, she's making a lot of money as a politician. Um, but right now I'm just like checking out the other venues, like the museum. I check out the park and yeah, I thought National Park is fine. It's good. Usually I would place it on a generic lot because again for me i prefer no sims to like show up but no one shows up to the national park anyways so i think it's completely fine and like oh yeah i was like oh there's no bathrooms around here so we're gonna have to add a bathroom and i decided that the base game ones are just like you know they were just ugly i didn't like the way they looked so i decided to make my own which hopefully is fine. I think it definitely looks better than the ones, you know, over there, I guess, are the ones that are like already built in a way. And yeah, but yeah, the build is almost over. I say almost over. There's like six minutes left, but I am going to head out now because I mean, I don't really have much to say about this build. But what do you think about a funeral pack? Let me know in the comments because I don't know I would love that I really love the idea of being able to say goodbye in a way you know um I will say like obviously funerals are a little bit broken um I say funerals we don't have funerals I didn't mean that I meant events events can be a little buggy sometimes so I can understand because you don't want that to be like another my wedding stories but it can't be that bad right it can't be um that would be awful, but I'm going to go now, so if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will show you pictures of the um, graveyard at the end, so if it's a little too fast, don't worry, you will see the final results at the end, but yeah, I love you, you are important, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!